Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at Myself at Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. So today is episode 137, 21 Days to a Happy Home. I love a happy home. Or shall I say a happier home? Yeah, happier. Mm-hmm. I'm happier sure everybody, home. I hope everybody has a happy home. I do but too. We can even crank it up a little bit and be happier when we've got some tips and ideas for you that you can do that and, and really easily and stuff you may not have thought about or stuff you may be putting off. I am excited to be happier. Yeah. Yes. Who can? Yes. Let's everybody can be happier. happier in our can homes. I tell you a little story? Yes. I are bloggers house people will say you know i've got people that said oh you can't come to my house your house is always perfect and i always say to them you what you see is my real life but it's a slice of my real life and you know that whole thing about keeping it real about five or six mm-hmm. years ago nobody wants to see my laundry room when it's real you know they want no. to see how it can be but i want people to understand that you know i try hard but being being a blogger and living a blogger's life, it's some days my house looks like a bomb blew up, like in the living room or in the kitchen or wherever. We all well, anytime we're decorating for a blog post, oh. a lot of times there's a pile, there's a discard pile somewhere. You can't you <laughs> can't even imagine. You just seeing so, the stuff we chose. There's a big pile of stuff yes, we didn't behind choose behind the screen. Yeah, mm. behind the camera. Um, but doing doing Christmas, it gets it really, it's really a huge disaster for a few days. And after I cleaned it all up and and had everything in its place, when Bobby came home, he didn't say anything. And I said, look around. And he's looking around. He says, oh, the decorations look really pretty. I said, no, Bob, there's not a thing out of place. And Ah. I was like, and I might enjoy the five seconds. (laughs) No, you know what I said to him? This is how (laughs) <laughs> this is how normal people live, Bob. <laughs> oh, don't tell him that. He's he doesn't know. That. He doesn't know. So I said, <laughs> Bobby, look at this. There's nothing out of place. I said, listen, I, this makes me so happy when I look at it. It looks beautiful and nothing's out of place. And I'm not like going, oh, there's dishes in the sink. I said, Bobby, can we not live like this? So you said, so Bobby, made a you little, can do it. You can do it I every know. day. <laughs> we made a little pact that this is how Aww. we're going to do. And bless his heart, I would say, Bobby, do you need this anymore? And, you know, he'll say, no. And he's like, yes, up. <laughs> and I said, are you grumping at me? He says, no. <laughs> so, <you> know, <laughs> he wouldn't say it, but I've had like a spotless house and I've had company at my house since Thursday. They just left today and today's Monday that we're taping. And there, there has not been one thing out of place, wow. even amongst all the company. And wow. I mean, we didn't ask them to do anything, but you know, like they have bags and stuff and I don't count that. But you know, if you have company, you sort of make a mess along with them sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, you're, uh, yeah, it's just, you're out of so sorts. It's not your normal routine. I you're getting been, stuff out for your guests. Yes. Yeah. I've been like the happiest camper in my house since last week. And it's because everything was in its place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does feel really good. Oh, oh it, I'm yeah, going to tell you to do that. It removes the stress. It moves yeah, that is a lot definitely of a grump inducer if it's, <laughs> everything's it all messy. It is. Now, I have to say my, um, my, Study is like the last place I'll probably get to, but I am going to get to it. But, you know, all my all my laundry is done and my laundry room looks good. Everything's decorated and put away. And even when I was making dinner, I was making a conscientious effort to like clean as I go. It was that thought in my mind, I'm not going to let this unravel, but I'm not going to be a slave to it. So I don't but know. I'm not going to let it unravel. Yeah. So Kelly, when you and I went to Fort Worth, I everything in the laundry room, I washed every single thing in the laundry room. When it came, when I came back home, it was like <laughs> the biggest mess you have ever seen oh, in your yeah. life. Yeah. It was like there was three weeks of laundry in there. I'm like, I don't even know what happened. I was only gone mm-hmm. three days. Hey, yeah. listen, there's two of us. Well, we just have all kinds of company, but there's two of us. I'm amazed. And if I would do a load of laundry every day, and this is what I tell people, do a load of laundry every day, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, put it away, you know, get the laundry out the night before. But I think um, it takes 21 days to make a habit. 
Mm -hmm. This is why we're doing this. And I think it takes many more days to undo a bad habit. So you want to replace it with something good. But I, I, I'm just telling you, if you start today, think of what would make you happy. And for me, it's everything in its place. Start doing it. Make it. And I mean, it gave me energy. I couldn't go to bed at night because I had too much energy. And I knew it was because everything looked so great. I was so yeah. excited. Well, here's what happened with me is I remember, I don't know if I remember, you remember me saying that I ordered this Kate Spade bag on sale and I told Kevin later, congratulations, you got a great deal on this purse you got for me. <laughs> and so I've already made space in my closet because there might be two Kate Spade purses coming. Oh, uh, there might be. And, but here was the fun thing. I went in there and I saw some older purses that were really nice, but the reality, and they were expensive, but the reality is I'm yeah, not I using so. them. Mm -hmm. And so I told myself, I can't put the new purses in here until I give these old ones away. So there were some, you know, so I gave, I got rid of almost, I, almost all the purses I had. So that's decluttering. Wow. So, and, and here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed giving them to somebody who will appreciate the purses because they're yes. very nice purses. They're, mm -hmm. I mean, they were in great shape. They just mm -hmm. weren't, you know, the latest and greatest. So somebody, I got the excitement of giving them to somebody I know will appreciate them. I cleared out space in my closet. And so now my new purse is going to be able to be put up. So it's not going to get all dinged and knocked around and kicked. Mm. And uh, I opened, and it just kind of encouraged me then to straighten up and I redid my half of the closet. I redid kind of a lot of the, the, the drawers, I organized everything in the drawer, got rid of more stuff. And then I found some things that I was you missing. You must That's have felt you, wonderful. It, it was so wonderful. I cannot oh. tell you. And it didn't, the straight, the thing that made me feel so good did not cost me a penny. It cost me some of my time, but now I can find things in there. I know where everything is. And it's just such a joy to, I and just it makes, makes me you smile. want to keep it. And here's the yeah. thing. And here's what I used to do. And I'm going to reinstate this in the new year. Um, um, I, I've got to think of it. Like I have a word every year. I think mine might be declutter or something like that, where I used to say, spend 10 minutes on every drawer, every house, every closet a day, just 10 minutes. And when you, when the dinger goes off 10 minutes, you stop and you pick up where you left off. And if you do that every day for a year, you'll clean out everything. Wow. Yeah. How easy. Yeah, how easy. So true. Let's just take a step back for a moment because we're so excited about sharing 21 days to a happier home with everyone. Mm -hmm. Let I, I just have a thought about sort of an umbrella concept. What mm -hmm. is that? I want you all to look around your house. I mean, there are certain things that we're going to do and mm -hmm. what we just talked about, but I want you just to look around and instead of seeing the things you don't like, I want you to just look and see the things that you do like, or maybe the things you didn't notice before, but are really pretty, or Good you point. really do like them. Like Good the way point. the sun comes in your kitchen window mm -hmm. at a certain time of day, mm -hmm. or, you know, the way the, the molding goes around an arch in your, in your entryway or something. Little things about Good your house point. that are beautiful that you might walk by every day because aren't we all victims of, um, I don't want to say self abuse, but so, where we, you know, we we look, we tend to focus on the negative because mm -hmm. maybe we're mm -hmm. looking to improve it, mm -hmm. but we're, we we look too much with a bad critical eye, not a right good with one. a like, you know, oh, and it's good to I have do? a discerning eye, mm -hmm. and that's a how you get to the point you where go. you mm -hmm. make changes and mm -hmm. you decide you're going to do this or you're going to declutter or you're going to do a lot. So that is a good way to to look, but but you mm -hmm. can't always be looking at it and say, oh. Oh, well, I still have to do that. Like, I find myself saying this to people. So I know it's going through my head. And particularly women do this about their own bodies. They do it about their looks. They do it about their homes. So I want you to shift your perspective and shift your attitude a little bit and just walk through the rooms of your house. And in each room, pick out something that you love about it and something that's beautiful and focus on that. And then go. Th then you can also go through with not a critical eye, but more of a discerning eye and say, oh, how can I make this room better? How can I make more things in these rooms that I find beautiful and pleasing and stress-free and give me the joy that Yvonne's talking about when she looks around and everything's mm -hmm. in its place? Those mm -hmm. sorts of things. What actions can you take to make changes that will make you even happier? But let's start from at least a baseline of happy 
And I then like we'll go that. to happier. I like that very much. Mm-hmm, and I think mm-hmm. that's true. I, I'm just, I'm reading a book right now called The Orphan Master's Son. And it's a book, it's a fictional book, but it has its basis in a lot of true stories about life in North Korea. Oh my goodness. Every single one of us should be ecstatic. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Because of the conditions. I mean, just even in my most decluttered moment, I should be the happiest person in the face of this earth. Just that, you know, we have a loved one to hug or, you know, uh, windows that the sunshine can actually come through. You know, we're just so very blessed. So I think you're very, very right, Kelly, that we have to really look and be grateful for every single thing that we have that's good in our life and and really concentrate on that right and then start mm-hmm. to declutter and <laughs> well but the decluttering i think it's not i, I yeah i mean you i think see it's the both. nice things you have in your life yes yeah but it's but what you're saying is appreciating what you have mm-hmm. savoring the moment mm-hmm. focusing on the good well, because i think, I think if you start things. from a perspective of oh i hate my house i hate my room i, hate I know my and a lot of women room. it's mm-hmm. so dark like how do you get from there to oh i just love everything so great and i'm so happy well, in my home you, you know, don't have to see what's there you have to first. be realistic yes exactly you know but well, you right. have and, about yeah. the good things yeah right. Right. right right and i do like looking at pinterest and magazines to get ideas but when you start comparing that to your house and feeling bad about your house that's when it's time to turn off the computer that's when it's time to mm-hmm. stop looking mm-hmm. because if it's it turns from inspiration to depression it's not helpful to you and okay, we've don't all stop been reading there. my blog though because it's <laughs> all <laughs> because it's all about inspiration and creativity She's i never so terrible, did i Anita. mention blogs i <laughs> said magazines and pinterest yeah, well you exactly. said computers so oh. Oh, um, oh, oh, but I, I think that's so right. And I think you have to learn to love what you're seeing, but don't compare. Comparison is such a trap yeah. and it's, there's it's nothing toxic. good about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, and the thing is, there's always going to be someone thinner, prettier, smarter, wealthier. And, you know, same with your house. I mean, mm-hmm. just there's always going to be one that's better than yours. And, and guess just, what? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. who cares? But you know what? The sun isn't going to come through their window exactly the way it comes through yours. And if that makes you happy and it shines on where your little dog or cat likes to sit or whatever, <laughs> you know, so find the little things that you love. And then... Mm you know, crank it up. Okay. So action makes me really happy and gives me a lot of joy. So mm-hmm. you know, instead of like Anita's saying, sitting there like, oh, oh, I don't have that. Or I wish I had a big French doors or whatever. Like they, everyone has on Pinterest. Just make a plan and tackle something each day or, you know, over the course of a couple of days and I promise you, when you if you follow the tips that we're giving you today, you will be happier in your home. Well, in let me tell days. you. Can I can I tell you, Kelly? Start yes. by making your bed. Make your mm-hmm. bed. I, mm-hmm. I make my bed now religiously <laughs> because of you. And I yes. tell you, I made my bed today even before we podcast. And you know, we start like my girls walk out the door and like eight fifteen we start. So my morning has been crazy, but I made my bed today. And you Good know, my bed's you. not easy to make, but it's pretty when it's done. Yeah, and, and I'm going to feel so much better because big- mm-hmm. right? I thought to myself, I don't want to be done with this at eleven thirty and walk into my house and have my bed be unmade. Yeah. And yeah. that, and you've had one, you've accomplished one task. Okay. Mm-hmm. So make right your bed, away. girlies mm-hmm. and gents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. 
Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co.co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at forty nine ninety. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Here's another thing. If you can't afford to buy new things, but you want a fresh look... This is something I do all the time, and that is rotate things from one room to mm, another. Smart. And it gives you a fresh rotator. look. Mm. So, but here's mm-hmm. the thing. Some people, I get the question all the time, where do you keep all your extra home decor things? The answer is, I don't have extra stuff. In the other rooms, you just... It's so, but here's the thing. Them. Because people feel like I'm going to rotate things in and out of my closet. Uh-uh. I don't do that. That's kind of my personal rule. If if I have extra stuff and it ends up in a closet, I have to get rid of something. So I rotate from one room to another, not from the clo- in and out of the closet. If I have extra stuff so that's in the closet, I get rid of stuff. I mean, and there really probably is some stuff that you have that, you know what? Mm-hmm. It's not your get favorite. Just get rid of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to say also deep clean, like serious yes. on your hands and knees, deep clean. Or if you're a person who would rather have somebody do that, you know, set aside <laughs> Anita, some money. We're not saying who though. And we're not <laughs> saying who. Um, well, I'm just you know, not gifted in that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not yeah. Gifting. It really, truly is. I love that. It's I mean, not it really, I feel <laughs> so gifted the way I can work a rag. I mean, yeah, Anita, that's exactly what it is. But for those are, who are gifted like me, and you get on your hands and knees and do it. Or want to be I was gifted doing in that area. For the, um, you know, the, the, before I put up the Christmas trees, like I have been trained from my mother, like you do not put curtains on dirty windows and you do not put a Christmas tree in front of dirty baseboards, you know, that kind oh, of thing. So, wow. Mm-hmm. I, See, I had an artist mom. I didn't hear any of that stuff. It was like, I, whatever, when you get to it, you get to okay, it. Okay. So yeah. So maybe that, so my gift comes from my mom. And <laughs> so my mom is a master cleaner. She's very good at it, but it makes me feel good too. I like the smells of it. I like getting down there. It's very physical. Like I had my Apple watch on, which records like everything I do all day long. And man, I got a lot of points for all my cleaning. So I cleaned my house from tip to to bottom and baseboard from one side of the room to the other side of the room before any of the Christmas decor went up. And I felt Mm -hmm. great. Stem to stern. That's what I was looking for. Um, So I suggest doing that. And well, here's how I clean like, like to that. do it. Hire someone to do it. Kelly, here's how I clean like that. Let's say I'm going to put the Christmas tree up. Well, I clean that spot first, get that all done. Because if I cleaned everything first, I'd have to re-clean it. Because I'm yeah. dragging branches in to put, to make this ornament or I mean arrangement. And I'm doing, so whatever area that I'm working on, that's pristine. And then I go to the next area. Yeah, yeah. I, that's mm-hmm. how I did it well, too. But I think since we've done a- the whole house now, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. everything's gotten covered. But yeah, I did like this Wait area, a minute, then let's you do step it. back. Mm-hmm. Do one room at a time. 
Okay, there you uh, go. That's uh, Here's the yeah. reason I did it on that one. Because mm-hmm. when you have your whole house that you're thinking of, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming. You're going to feel like you can't even, where are you even going to start? But if right. you say, I'm going to focus on one room at a time, I'm going to focus at one closet at a time, then it's, you know, you're just going to eat it one little bite at a time and you can, you can do it. There's a great book and it's one of the best books I've ever read. It's called Eat, Eat That Frog. Eat that frog. Okay, mm-hmm. what is that about? And it's about it's about how you tackle things one little if somebody said you have to eat a frog every day. <laughs> Why wait till the end of the day and you could that be on the back of your mind and it will worry you because the frog's not fun to eat. But if you eat it first thing in the morning, it's behind you. You're going to be throwing up all day long. No, it's, your task is behind you. And how do you eat it? One bite at a time. You just take one big bite at a time and just move ahead. Our idea for you is just keep moving ahead and don't fall back. Like I'm, just, I'm talking to myself. Don't fall back in your default settings. You know, like a computer has default settings. Don't fall back in those. Make new habits for Mm -hmm. yourself, Mm -hmm. positive habits. And something as little as I've talked to you about this before, um, the fly lady, I just love her. She's been around for decades. And and I do this because she taught me, keep your sink clean. Mm -hmm. Do not let... I love a clean sink. mm -hmm, Have a clean sink. And I took... um, uh, nothing, you know, nothing is in my sink. It either gets washed, dried and put away, or it goes into the dishwasher. Those are the options. Those are the only options. And then I take baking soda and I put in drops of essential oil, mix that all up. And I put it in like a pasta, like a mozzarella cheese pasta shaker. You know, you put on pasta with mm-hmm, the holes in the mm-hmm. top and I sprinkle that in my sink, scrub it up and it's beautiful. Oh, hmm. that's a nice one. Because I use Barkeeper Secret. Mine might do what you do. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you can pick sounds- the scent. And I use, I love, yeah. uh, this is a plug for Young Living Oils. I just love them. But they have, uh, we, I've talked about this before, Thebes. And it has a real clovey, cinnamony, lemongrass smell. And it does have some antiseptic properties that I really like. Well, hey, also have a lovely scent in your home. Uh, you yeah, know, and it's easy that's to on do. the top can, of my list. Right. Mm-hmm. You can choose an essential oil diffuser. You can mm-hmm. do a candle yeah. if that's yeah. more of your thing. You can uh, get or, lavender. Lavender yes. essential oil mm-hmm. is a great one. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, get a, a pine wreath at Christmas time or a la- you know, some live and, lavender <laughs> or something. That a little scent in your house yes, that makes and, such a difference. And while mm-hmm. we're talking about this, it's a little private, but in the in the in the potty, if you want to just take like two drops of the essential oil and put it in a clean toilet, your whole bathroom smells beautiful. Wow. I would have never thought of that. Yes. Yes. Hmm, it's lovely. Wow. So especially if you're going to have a party or something and people are going to be in there, you know, just go and check it and put a little, like a couple drops in a couple times and it smells wonderful. Wow. wow. Great mm-hmm. idea. Mm-hmm. Okay, how about this one? This These are these little niggly things that just are way on you. Fix all the little things. And I oh, I was going to say that. This. Just go ahead and get your repairman. If it's stuff you can do, do it. If not, and you know, I have a friend who waited and waited for her husband to have time to fix these little things in her house. Well, he worked long hours and he didn't want to come home and do that. It didn't get done. And then guess what? It was time to sell the house. They hired somebody, got it all done. And, and moved. Well, it moved, but here was the thing. She was going to have to do them anyway. Just go ahead and do it now. You're going to have to do it if you ever move. Enjoy it now. This happens. We hear this all the time. Just go and get that stuff fixed now. Yeah. I have a little list of those things too that I'm going to tackle. And you just tend to be like, oh, I don't have the time right now. And then you deal with it, whatever it is, the door mm-hmm. doesn't shut or the, well, the latch doesn't work or something like that. And, you know, really, it would take an extra five minutes probably just to fix it. And then you'd be done with it. Well, and if it's something that you have to hire somebody, here's the thing. A lot of times there's a big cost just in getting them to come to your house. Like the first hour costs three Mm -hmm. times more than the Mm -hmm. the subsequent hours. So if you you probably by now have a stack of these little things. So go ahead and get the guy to come out and take handle tackle all of them. And if it is little stuff that maybe you could do, but you don't have time for, there are people that come and just do these little chores for you that don't even require any kind of special skill. Well, here's another thing. Sometimes now I, we work in our homes and sometimes I'm in my house, maybe two or three days in a row. Cause it's, especially at Christmas time, I'm so busy, you know, um, decorating and doing everything. Get out of your house. Mm-hmm. If you've been in your house, 
<laughs> That's too, so funny. too much, you know, your house can sort of close in on you. And sometimes yeah. just getting out to do errands. And when you come back, like have a day where you're Get, you get tired running around and come back and your house just feels so good to come back mm-hmm. home to. Oh, That's a good yeah. point. And before you go out, um, get in the habit of making everything, you know, they say visitor ready, but I like to think it more of like you ready. Like when you come back, that the pillows are in the place on the mm-hmm. sofa and that chairs aren't pulled out from the dining room table or there's not a pile of stuff sitting on it. Take 10 minutes before you go and tidy it all up. So when you walk in, you can feel the, ah, that I'm home Such and a I'm good relaxed. Point. Oh, Not that's that I'm home one. and now I have a thousand things to do and, and there's I dishes have to make in dinner. The sink. Yes. Yeah. And here's the thing with that. When my kids were little, uh, they would make these big messes. I couldn't, I just, I'm very <laughs> clutter averse. I'm not the best cleaner, but I am very clutter averse. So I'm very mm-hmm. neat and tidy. So before we would go do anything fun, I would do what, just what you said. We're not going to go do fill in the blank until you clean your room. You mm-hmm. got to straighten your room first. And I, actually it got to be so bad where my daughter was like, I don't want to have a friend over. And I said, why? She said, because they're going to make a mess and I'll have to go. <laughs> 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 well, and here's That's another so tip. Let's, I mean, just to say you're, I don't, you're, you, you've not decluttered everything. Declutter the part of your house people come into. So at least you're not embarrassed sometimes. You know, um, I've been caught where somebody's rang my doorbell and I'm thinking, oh, I'm working on this project in my dining room. And like, it's all sprawled out into the foyer, which is okay, but don't leave it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if yeah. somebody comes, you, you know, you're, you can invite them in and, you know, have a cup of tea or whatever you're going to do with that, a, a mess being all over the place. And here's another one. Turn off the TV. Oh, well, I never turn it on. Well, so I, don't know, I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> listen, yeah, I don't either. I don't listen even. Listen to music, Peter, read so a pathetic. book, you know, get podcast, busy, organize. Podcast. That's right. Do things yeah. that I listen are to a podcast action. or music. I just don't, I don't like the TV. I mm-hmm. just, I really don't like it. Well, plus you have to look at it, you know, then you can't That's do, right. be doing other things. Well, and it's just mm-hmm. that the, the commercials drive me nuts. I just, oh, I yeah. cannot listen to it. Although Jumping I back. have the best thing. I have a girlfriend who does watch morning TV. And she cleans during the commercials. She says, my home is always spotless. <laughs> oh, well, that might be Isn't something that a good to idea. Right. Yeah. As soon as you get commercials, you just get at it. Here's a thought about the entryway. And mm-hmm. this is you know, more of a, a change than creating a habit. But I noticed because I go into a lot of people's houses, you know, for client consults and whatnot. And I notice a lots of times, whether it's hot, you know, whether you're round or, or you know, it gets cooler here, but not super cool, but people have places in their entryway where it's an invitation to leave your stuff. It's like a collecting point, like a magnet, Mm -hmm. like for example, a standing coat rack or an umbrella stand or, you know, unless you're living in London, you probably don't need an umbrella stand (laughs) right by your door. I love umbrella stands. Well, I I don't know. We, yeah, we have one here, but, but I have pretty, Beautiful umbrellas in there that have the pretty. Well, yeah, handles. I'm not. I'm not really talking to the Anita Joyces of the world. Oh, I'm oh, just okay. saying people who are like then your kids come in and they oh, chuck yeah. their shoes, you know, mm-hmm. and then they throw their throw their baseball bat in the umbrella And they have and there's stand. all these mm-hmm. different. I think stuff. that's what people use the mud room for. That's where all that's. Right, but goes. if you don't have a mud room and you're doing mm-hmm. this in your entryway, this is what you're seeing. It, yeah, it, forget true. that people are coming to visit. This is what you're seeing every time yeah, you come right. in, and it would make my shoulders go up around my ears to see that every time. Because I'd be like, I got to put that away someplace. Now it's my job to put this all away. Don't give them the opportunity to put stuff there. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well. And we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. 
And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Yeah. And I think this whole philosophy of let's get it all straight in case we have company, let's get it straightened for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, what's the chance? I mean, there's companies there maybe a little bit every week, maybe 5% of the week, but you're there. Unless unless you're Stone Gable, you're not having company like that. (laughs) Yeah. Well, and um, here's the. Here's the other thing. Fly lady calls those hot spots. And every day she has something called a fire drill. Where, <laughs> like, yeah, I gotta like, check on this fly lady. It, I, and it's, <laughs> I have, when I was a young mother, that's when I started following her. Like she had a radio show. I bought all of her books, but it's so common sense. And you have a, you have to have a fire drill to get rid of your hot spots. So like two or three times a day, she has a, a, a fire drill where you go to your hotspots, the areas that collect things and you clean them all off. Is there an alarm that goes off? Like, well, you you know, you stop what you're doing. You could probably (laughs) set your phone to do that and have the alarm to go along with it. You can. I know that I, I get emails from her every day and she'll say, okay, today we're working in zone four, which is blah, 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 you know, and it just is a nice little reminder for me. And I've done it for so many decades, you know, and and so anybody who needs just a little help, I would suggest, I think it's fly lady. Oh, it's either .com or .net, but okay, um, wow. you might want to look her up. And so How about adding some her. plants to your house? Too. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. You know, and, flowers. And pick a, don't pick a plant that's really hard to deal with. Pick something really simple and just put it in in a light diffused window, not too mm-hmm. much of a draft, and just make sure you keep the soil moist. It'll be fun. Mm, you know, you mm. don't have to go crazy with it. Or get yourself outside and make a container garden that you have right by your front door. Again, you're going to see it when you come in. It's going to make you happy. I have, uh, it's it's cold here right now, of course, in, in Pennsylvania where I live. And I went out to my um, raised uh, garden that I have in on my patio and my parsley still living, which thrills me to no oh, end. See? Oh, very there's, nice. I mean, that talk about being happy. It was like, oh, it's out there. You know, it's so sweet. So yeah. yeah, nothing makes you happier than having something living. Well, and I think adding something, and it may be different for each person, but, but be sure to add something to your day, something to your house that makes you smile. For mm-hmm. me, it's that morning cup of tea that I have, and I have it in a beautiful china cup with a silver teaspoon. 
And it may sound silly, but it, what a wonderful start to my day. No, On a silver tray. Funny. That's right. <laughs> Some days I don't have the tray. How, yeah. uh, here's another thing. If you have a favorite color, now you don't need it to be all over your house, but use it somewhere. You know, maybe put, make a, get a file folder in that color that has your magazines in it or get a pretty throw that's that color. Like when you read or whatever you're doing, you can put that pretty colored throw on you, but do something that you like in a color you love. I love the color delphinium blue. Mm -hmm. I'm smitten by that color. And so when I go to look for extra things, I'm so surprised at how many delphinium blue things I choose. Oh, how mm. pretty. Hey, mm-hmm. even go a step further. Paint your front door your favorite color. Ooh. You know, Ooh, just my door why would not? look great delphinium blue, actually. It would look oh, great delphinium yeah. blue with the stone. It would be great. Mm-hmm. Another, little, another little thing, and you know, again, it's more of a thing to do, not necessarily a habit, but in the little things that you use all day long in your house, you know, step up your game a little bit. I, for years, would just get like the, you know, the cheapest dishwashing soap, you know, like just it's cheapy stuff, like whatever. It's going down the drain. I use my dishwasher for 99% of what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> it's an occasional thing. But the other I the other day, I was just like, I'm going to treat myself to that Miss Myers. And I got the lavender. Oh. I can't even tell you how happy I am every time I have to use <laughs> oh, it. Oh, I know. It's so it silly. It's such a it. little thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, that smells so good. I, the other day I bought something at, um, you know, I sent you the pictures from that yard sale I went to. Yes, so I was yes. cleaning some of the stuff and I had bought this, um, oh, this entire box of these wooden um, spools of thread, which I just love. And ca- with it came all these buttons. So I took all the buttons and I put them in a little bowl, squirted it in the Miss Myers, ran some hot water on it, and just sat it on the counter. Well, my entire kitchen smelled like a <laughs> field of good. lavender. Oh, yeah. And I thought, that is for four, you know, I was denying myself the four ninety nine dish soap because I thought, oh, why would I spend four ninety nine in dish soap when I could get ninety nine cents dish soap? Well, well, there you go. It made a difference. Well, but here's the other thing. Yeah, I buy the really nice hand soap too because I'm thinking, do I really want something super cheap that's full of all these awful chemicals that are going to be absorbed in my skin? Yeah, I'm no, going to buy the nice hand soaps that have essential oils in them and smell fresh, mm-hmm. and, and it's a real scent of something. It's not some artificial, you know, petroleum mm-hmm. product. I'm slapping lathering all over my hands. So yeah. Yeah. And so it's worth a couple more dollars. It is. And you're worth it. And everyone listening is worth it. <laughs> That's right. Or I wake up now in linen sheets. Oh, you are and, such yep. a convert. Yep, oh. she sure is. And I mean, this is not like the difference between 99 cents and three ninety nine. This no. was an investment. <laughs> but yeah. I wash but you just them need- and put them right back on my bed. I will not. Oh, the difference is unbelievable. Yeah, and really- If you could just get away with one set, just wash them and put them back the same day and you really don't even need two sets. And I'd rather have one set, good set of linen sheets versus 10 so-so sheets Mm -hmm. any day. So if you can save and splurge a little, you know, we we don't like to splurge because I don't know. I don't know that I don't think I'm not worth it, but I just think, well, maybe it could be better spent somewhere else. But, you know, not on everything, but like once in a while, if you do something like that, it really does sort of brighten your day. You just have to admit it. Find something that you think is going to make you happier. Well, first of all, concentrate on the happy things in your home and let's be appreciative of them. And then go ahead and start to do something for 21 days that uh, will make you feel happier in your home. Start good habits and we're coming into the new year. So uh, get a head start on on the, all those New Year's resolutions and start with your home. Remember, we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey, everybody, we want to thank you so much for listening to Decorating Tips and Tricks. And we want to make it even easier for you to listen. And it's easier if you subscribe. You just click the subscribe button on our website, www.decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Or you can subscribe through Apple Podcast or any of your favorite podcast listeners. When you subscribe, DTT comes free right to you three days a week. So until next time.